Hello everyone, my name is Alex Goguet and I'm an associate professor at the Université Grenoble-Alpes. And today, or tonight, depending on which time zone you're in, I'm going to present you a work that was done with Carl Gutwin, Chechen, Peng Simonaposi and Andy Coburn. With a short presentation, I'm starting with the takeaway message. User preferences for system pace are correlated with user pace. In other words, fast users tend to prefer faster interfaces and slow users prefer slow interfaces. Okay, let's play a simple game that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. Slots machine. You press a button, a series of symbols flashes up on your screen and stops on a randomly selected symbol. In here, I lost. Let's try again. And I lost again. But this paper is not about how lucky I am, but about interaction pace. I don't know if you've noticed, but the first time I played, I interacted rather slowly with the system. And as a result, the following animation matched my interaction pace. Now, the second time I played, from my pace to the system space, everything happened much quicker. This Camblin machine that automatically adapts its space to the user space was described by Jack Loney in 98. And more generally, it opens up a question, can automatic interface adaptation to user space of interaction benefit users? There are plethora of situations in which the system pace is contrived by predefined parameters, from timeout before folder expansion, window reorganization animations, mouse pointer transfer functions to long presses, and most interfaces use fixed timeout. Sometimes system allows users to change the values via some uh, preference system menus, but those are often ignored. Consequently, users typically have a one-size-fits-all solution, too fast for some, too slow for others. And while, in theory, customization can account for differences between users, it will not account for intra-user differences, for instance, when I'm focused, fatigued, or when I'm in a hurry, and so on. So before examining automatic adaptation, we wanted to answer the first question. Do user preferences for different levels of system pace co-vary with user pace? Or in other words, do fast users prefer fast interfaces and slow users prefer slow interfaces? To test this hypothesis, we use a common drag and drop task, as like dropping files into a list of folders. A simple version with no folder expansions, which basically is a feeds task, allowed us to categorize users. And a version with a folder expansion, in which we control the timeout for expansion, allowed us to have our users test different system base and ask them which one they preferred. Our experiment was done online with 208 Amazon Mechanical Turkers. And it followed an A-B testing protocol with a short timeout and a long timeout for folder expansion. Details of the protocol and the results are in the paper. But overall, we categorized user into three quantiles, fast, medium, and slow. And it was based on their mean performance in the feeds task. And interestingly, when it comes to expansion, faster users tend to prefer fast timeouts and slower users, slow on. A similar trend appears when letting users set their own expansion timeout values. This overall trend is also reflected in the participants' comments. The results all support our hypothesis. We discuss in great length the ins and outs of this study in the paper, from lessons to expansion interfaces to reason these results matter for UX designers. But as I said earlier, it's a short presentation, so the takeaway message is user preference for system pace are correlated with user pace. Thank you.